Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I do hope that you all are doing well. Happy birthday Sagittarius. I hope you guys are enjoying your time, enjoying your season. There's a lot going on so we're going to go ahead and get on into it. Guys, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your TT appreciates it, okay? So... It's a lot going on. Today was real heavy. I understand that, you know, there was, you know, there's a 12-12 portal going on. I wasn't 100% cognizant of that because the energy has been super, super heavy. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. The energy has been super heavy, and I have been feeling it. Um... We are in pre-shadow of Mercury's retrograde. Yeah, I know. Let's end the <laughs> let's end the year strong, shall we? But um yeah, we just had the full moon in Gemini it was last week, so I'm sure those energies are still lingering. But there is something um, collectively heavy. This is not just um, individuals. Of course, yes, we feel things on an individual level. We are going through our own individual things. But there is something collectively that is coming through this, this energy. And it's super heavy. For those of you who are... Um, energetically sensitive take care of yourself take care of yourself um, we all know that those of us who are um, energetically sensitive and who are um, light carriers we feel the energies heavy and therefore those who are not aware come to you they come to us and um, I'm getting like an energetic dump so this leads me into our first channel song which is um, Janae Ioko I hope I'm saying that lady's name right um, triggered uh, her meditation mantra calm down slow down um, calm down protect your energy right now is a very good time to be putting up um, boundaries and a lot of these boundaries are not um, it's not for other people these boundaries that, that, that we're now taking on or needing to put in place are boundaries for ourselves, okay? Boundaries um, within and for yourself because those who are um, of awareness, we immediately want to, you know, be the helpers. And a lot of the times, it's the time to sit down and nurture yourself. And then you can go out and be the light that you are to be. Make sure that you're paying attention to yourself. Especially at this time, physically. Your physical body needs your attention. Be that getting rest or getting up and moving. Depending on where you are. And how that um, how that energy how the energy is affecting you and what you're being called to do at this time. Um, the second channel song was Keith Sweat. Something just ain't right. Well, yes, energetically there is something going on, and it will be different for everybody. It's going to affect affect everybody differently, but it is going to be sort of a collective shift okay Whew. 
can we just listen to this meditation music for a second? I'm not. I think it's what 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 did I put on? What did I put on? This is 417 hertz. Cleanse negative energy with Tibetan singing bowls music. And this is on YouTube on Meditative Mind. So there is that. Okay. Um, it's Monday, so I just saged my house really good and saged myself and oh, took a breath. So let's just listen to this for about 30 seconds, okay? Deep breaths. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Okay, a little more than 30 seconds, but it'll be all right. Okay, I'm going to pull a few cards and just see what divine has for us, what the message is, what we need to know, what we need to focus on. Um, speaking of, the past couple of nights, this is, you know, uh, pay attention to your dreams and how you're getting messages because some of us are getting messages in different ways. Um, mind the, the signs that you're getting, okay? Uh, the past couple of nights I have had some rather disturbing dreams. It's not, you know, anything of... Um, death or anything of that nature but I have had dreams of um, both in both instances these were females that I knew one of them personally stealing from me and then running from me and then there were people um, doing things to deter me or distract me from addressing this person, addressing her. So, um, I get it, I see it, understood, um, but I, I, I also trust and know that my spirit team is not having it. So, um, that could also be a test for you at this time to see where your growth is because everything does not require a response. Just know that you know it and then act accordingly. Um, yeah. So. And what comes out, sweet Jesus? Okay. So we have the two of air, which is the two of swords. Pausing, not knowing what's going on, not wanting to address things, closing yourself off. And then we also have with that card number 15, temptation or the devil card. So this looks like to me you or someone in your energy kind of kind of stuck a little bit um this could be stuck in uh whether or not they want to have a conversation with you about some nefarious things or this could also be because y'all know I like to look at things from multiple perspectives and not just 
get stuck on one thing. This could also be um, you. I have three scenarios. This could also be you um, getting twirled up, wrapped up, trapped in your mind, overthinking, um, becoming fearful, addictions, um, you fighting yourself, fighting your own thoughts, and not taking appropriate actions. Um, and this could also be someone else or you with um, wanting to communicate or let go of an obsession. And this obsession is like... Um, I can't think of the name of the the group. Oh, D never mind. DJ, I'm hearing DJ Khaled. Um, wild thoughts. Okay. I am I'm, I'm hearing Miss Miss Rihanna with um, wild thoughts. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Well, this one's. This one looks good because we have the sun. This is um, all things being illuminated. This is whatever negativity, whatever fear, there's going to be a light shone on it so that it is seen and so that you can move according to whatever it is that you need to do. But this does not look like a bad thing. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. Okay. So, I just got the Ten of Fires, the Ten of Wands, and the Hanged Man, and both of them came out in reverse. I usually don't do reversals, however, with them falling out the way that they did and the way this message is going no this this is no longer holding on to um stress oh what's his name um dear silas i think i think that's what his name is i don't have my phone by me dear silas um um uh, i ain't stressing the day i ain't stressing the day this is letting all that go. This is, all right, I have had some things going on. I don't know what, what was going on. Some, However, time goes on, something comes in, some message, some encouragement, some sort of enlightenment comes in and you are able to see things clearly. You are now able to move through whatever that situation was you are no longer stuck you are you can now navigate some things because you have you were able to release whatever these burdens were whatever was trying to weigh you down uh, again wild thoughts and these thoughts and thinking could be you just overthinking some stuff and have it bringing anxiety onto yourself and not really needing to. Not really need. Oh. Because you get the answer. You get the answer. You, you spot the knot. You spot the knot. You spot the negative energy. You recognize the low frequency that is trying to hide amongst the... The... The positivity and goodness that you have going on, overthinking things, you see it clearly, you are able to spot it. The seven of air, seven of swords, and the five of fire, five of wands, that is bullshit and foolishness. Something is going to come to light. And I am hearing something is going to come to light within the next 24 hours. So whenever you see this, just know that whatever it is that you are needing to spot and then move accordingly from, 
you will get that you will get that because this this here this five of air and i'm sorry this seven of air and five of fire this is mental and spiritual attack this is someone or something trying to invade your peace but instead of you allowing it to do so, you are able to see it and spot it. It's, it's being brought to the forefront. For some of you, this could be, you could be a Capricorn and you're, you know, all up in your head. You're, you're what I call head twirling. Um, you could be head twirling about a Leo. You could be head twirling about a Pisces. Vice versa. Oh, okay. You're strong enough to handle whatever this, this foolishness is. And before we start to place blame outside of other people and people doing things to us, this could also be past traumas that we are reliving in our heads and we are doing this to ourselves okay so either way we have the nine of fire and this nine of fire nine of wands is the wounded warrior kind of energy like you've been through it and you having been through it is exhausting but you know that you can get through because we already have the ten of fire in reverse. You've let you've let it go. So whatever this somebody or something is trying to keep you in this head twirling headspace, sending negative energy, lies, um, deceit, you know, projecting their energy onto you okay but you're good you're good you're good and you're letting this go because there's there is the love and possibility for growth that's coming in and you sitting up head twirling about Things that do not concern you. Other people's actions, words, thoughts, and energies towards you is not your concern. That's on them. That is more of a reflection of them than it is of you. hearing Mr. Teddy Pendergrass love TKO I think I better let it go mm, some of you are walking away from something and that that action that you take to walk away and leave something alone is going to open up a door for you and you're 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 kind of going to be like oh oh shit and the oh shit is seeing everything for what it was, seeing the lies, seeing the manipulation, seeing how someone was trying or something, an energy was trying to um, keep the sun from you, keep the truth from you. For some of you, once you get this information and see what this is and see just how and and see how bad of a place you were in, you are going to uh, hold on. You are going to it's gonna hurt. 
it's gonna hurt i'm not gonna lie to y'all it looks from what it looks like it looks like this it's going to hurt we got a lot of tens out here we have the ten of pentacles and the ten of swords this is going to hurt however however it's going to come to its completion it's going to come to its completion there will be truth spoken there will be clarity of mind there will be clarity of heart and once those two spaces are clear this will be um, available for you to open up tangible victories and rewards so for some of you somebody was either this in a relationship with you or someone who had close ties with you holding back finances and opportunity um your family okay this could be um a promotion I am hearing Jasmine Sullivan, um, let it burn. Um, we're the, and I'm hearing the part where she says, call me crazy, but I think I found the love of my life. For some of you, there has been a lot of interference with you getting to your next phase of your life, your next wholeness. A lot of this has to do with yourself. We always start with self over here. A lot of this has to do with your own thinking. And it's not, you know, we don't just get our own thinking out of nowhere. This comes from upbringing, um, environment, family, um, past hurts and things of that nature. So it's, it's things that we have not healed from and not let go of, okay? those things are coming to a close those things are coming to an end yes for some of y'all i am seeing family this has been family standing in your way and doing things that were that people that are are your family shouldn't do this could also be friends but people that say that they love you should not be doing This, this is, it is darkest before the dawn, okay? It is darkest before the dawn. So just whatever you have to do, breathe your way through it. Talk yourself through whatever you're feeling. Journal. Get um, a confidant, somebody that you can trust and speak with them. Um, meditation is going to be a good thing real talk meditation is going to be a good thing but do do whatever it is that you need to do to get through and pass whatever this I don't necessarily use these words in this manner but I am hearing the phrase whatever this fuck shit is get through it get past it because your your nine of wands your home your stability your inspired actions are caught up in whatever this energy is that you need to release and for some of you it's cutting ties with a whole group of people to go towards what it is that you want for yourself all right Let's see. Ah, the oracle card we have from the African goddess. What is it? I, I remember her name is uh, Abiola Abrams. So this is her deck. Card number 38, Queen Nefertiti, Alchemy. You have everything you need to create the life that you choose. Let go of whatever is holding you down, whatever is holding you back. You need to cut it. 
okay all right nuggets energies and signs that you could possibly be dealing with at this time capricorn leo pisces sagittarius i am also hearing aries okay all right nuggets i love you i love you from my soul please do like share and subscribe blessings and light